Hey guys, my name is Jesse Mew and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series on Stardew Valley. If you've never heard of this game, it's been described as kind of a spiritual successor to the old Harvest Moon games. I've played it a little bit so far just to get used to the controls and well, I am really looking forward to finally sinking my teeth into it. So let's just start a brand new game here. One of the things that really surprised me about this game is how many customization options you have for your own character. So I'm going to be a lady, of course, and I'll just zip through these skin tones quickly. I mean, there are so many options here. You can be green, you can be blue, you can be a smurf if you want to, you can be an alien, <laughs> you can be purple. I think this one is, yeah, this one, is probably the closest to my skin tone, so that's what I'm going to go with. Um, there are so many different hairstyles too. I really love the art style of this game. It's very cute. How about this one? This one kind of looks like my hair, so I think I'll go with that. And uh, there are over a hundred different shirts here, so I'm not going to go through them all on camera because it, we will be here forever. But let's see if I can find one that I like. Oh my gosh, is that a Pikachu shirt? <laughs> that is so cute. Look at him. Little eyes and everything. So cute. <laughs> and a J for Jesse Mew. I'm not going to go with that one though. I'm going with this one because I really like the colors. It's like a, a teal or a seafoam or something really, really nice. And accents. <laughs> we can have a beard if we want. I don't have a beard though. I'm not going to go with a beard. Mustaches and oh my. <laughs> That's a nice beard. Um, is that another one? It's hard to tell. It looks kind of like a dog nose. Uh, glasses. I I think that's lipstick, but that <laughs> looks like a clown nose from the front. Um, <laughs> big bushy eyebrows. Look at those. They look so mad. <laughs> Robo glasses. A little scarf. That's cute. That is very very cool. Look at those. <laughs> those shades. I think I'm... Whoa, wait a second. Really? <laughs> Duckbill? Okay. I'm gonna go with accent one. Just, we're gonna be plain. Nothing for us. Okay, so my name is Jess. My farm name will be... Cattail Farm. And our favorite thing would have to be... Let's see. Fluffy kitties. <laughs> And then, of course, our animal preference is going to be cats. I mean, I love dogs, too, but if this means I can have a cat, I'm I'm getting a cat. Okay. And now, oh, wow, we can choose, like, any color for our eyes. That is so cool. I'm going to give <laughs> her purple eyes. I wish I had purple eyes in real life. Obviously, I don't. I like purple, though. We're going with purple. I'm going to darken up the hair a little bit. That looks more like my hair, I think. Yeah, that's good, and we'll darken up the pants a little bit too, because why not? There we go. There's my character, Jess, and she's going to live on Cattail Farm, and she loves fluffy kitties, just like me. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have the sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life, and your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later. Okay, so after that uh, very depressing little cutscene, we are in... Joja now, join us and thrive. Wow, we have some very scary individuals supervising us here. All these people working, smile, you're with Joja. Is, <laughs> Woody, what are you doing here? Get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, is that me? Oh gosh, wait a second, that guy's dead. Oh, I think he's been crushed by the <laughs> burdens of modern life. Maybe he needs our letter. Oh, look at all this work we have to do. Of course, there's our envelope, so let's click that. 
Dear Jess, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Cattail Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Oh, so Cat's Hill Farm was actually our grandpa's, and he left us the deed to it. And now that we're uh, 20 years in the future, I, I guess we've been properly crushed by modern life, and we're looking for a change. So now we're driving out into the country on a little bus. <laughs> My gosh, it's so beautiful here. The art style really is just its so lovely. Half a mile left until Stardew Valley. And a little bird is enjoying <laughs> his time here too. Seeing us off to our new life. Okay. Sounds like we're there. You can hear the bus. Here we are and here's Robin. Hello, you must be Jess. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. Okay, will do. <laughs> and true to Harvest Moon fashion, here is our farm. Our rundown little farm. This is Cattail Farm. <laughs> oh, we're so worried. Oh no, all this work. What did you expect? What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil under that mess. <laughs> See, that's all we need. We're on a farm. We need good soil. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I'm a little worried about the holes in our porch, though. That's <laughs> that's going to need some fixing. She's a carpenter, right? Maybe she can do that for us. And here we are, your new home. Oh. Oh, oh, Louis. Ah, the new farmer. <laughs> it's Louis. We're supposed to say hi to him for our grandpa. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> yeah, with holes in it, big gaping holes. Rustic, that's one way to put it. <laughs> she knows, crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis, but it is. Don't listen to her, Jess. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, her little foot is tapping. That's so cute. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. <laughs> She's still mad. Look at that little foot. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Here we go, starting our first day on Cattail Farm. Oh, here we are. Let's get out of bed. So this is our little house. We can actually pick things up and move them already. It kind of reminds me of... uh. Animal Crossing, Happy Home Designer, the way you can just pick things up and move them to where you want them. We could move this plant by the fireplace if we want to, because that's not a hazard at all. <laughs> Let's move it back. That's probably not a good idea. And we can go down here and uh, open this mysterious package full of parsnip seeds. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to help get you started. Mayor Lewis. Well, thank you, Lewis. That's nice of you. Can I put those down? <laughs> Just march around my house with some parsnip seeds. Good workout. So let's go right outside. Oh gosh, I already forgot that we have to clear all this out. So we have our axe, we have a hoe, a watering can, a pickaxe, and a scythe. And we're going to use our scythe to cut the weeds and the grass and whatnot. There's something really satisfying about using this thing. <laughs> Just going over here and slicing through all this grass. I find that really enjoyable. I don't know why. 
I guess that's a good thing because we have a lot to clear out right now. We want to make a nice space to plant our new parsnip seeds. Let's see, where are we going to do that? I think right here around this area should be a good place. Of course, the pickaxe breaks the rocks. And uh, obviously the axe is going to cut down the trees and chop this wood. So let's just clear out as much as we can. Okay, so I think this should be a good enough space for now. Um, one thing I do want to do today is get enough wood to craft a chest. There's actually a lot of things that you can craft in this game. It's pretty neat. Um, but yeah, we need wood for a chest. And the other thing I want to do is go into the options and select always show tool hit location. That is a very, very good thing to have on. As you can see, now we can actually, you know, see where we're going to hit here. That'll help us very much while we're making our little farm. So let's see. I think I want to do five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, because we have 15 seats. So if we divide them into five little spaces here, then it will be nice and even. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, clay. Okay. I'm not really sure what we use clay for in, in crafting and construction. So that's probably going to be very useful very soon. So let's plant all of our seeds here. Our nice parsnips that Lewis gave us. There we go. And then we have to water them. So we have a watering can. We just click them right here. Not too hard. Every time we use a tool, however, our energy on the bottom right goes down. And of course, we don't want to lose all of our energy. That would be very bad. I believe if you lose, if you get to zero, then you end up passing out. Just like the old Harvest Moon games, if you've ever played those. You'll end up passing out. You have to, you wake up in your home, you lose the rest of the day. So, you know, not good at all. As long as we have a little bit of food, though, we can raise that energy back up. Always good to keep some food on you. So let's, um, oops, that is not my axe. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's finish gathering a bit of wood here so we can make that chest, and then we will head out into the town and try to introduce ourselves to the townsfolk. There are a lot of townspeople to meet. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get them all on the first day. We'll definitely try, though. Uh, what do I have for- oh, I actually have enough wood. Here I am chopping more trees. Okay, we don't need to do that. Let's open our crafting center. Let's make a chest. There we go. We're going to put our chest, like, right here for now. I, I'm sure we can move it later. <laughs> I hope we can move it later. Um, later, we'll plant our mixed seeds, too. Or Actually, you know, why don't we do that right now? That It would just be missing out <laughs> on a day of letting them grow. I Oh, gosh, I keep getting the hoe and the axe confused. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, there's our mixed seeds. Let's go ahead and water those so they'll be ready to grow. And of course, you can see um, our water is running out in the watering can. So we just go down here when we need it. And we clear a path, apparently, because we can't even get to the water. And we dip our watering can in. And now it's full again. No problems. Okay. So let's uh, head into town, I guess. Oh, of course, we have our quests, too. So getting started, we have to cultivate and harvest a parsnip, which we've already started on. Very good. And introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Two out of 28 people greeted. So I we we have a bit of work to do. Um, What's this? A dandelion. Ooh. Nothing else around here? Okay. So we picked a dandelion. Very good. Okay, that brings our health up. Or our, our energy, I mean. So if we start to run out of energy, we can just munch on a little dandelion. Why not? So who are you, Sir Harvey? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Thank you, Harvey. Nice to meet you, too. Um, some people here. Jody. Oh, you're, <laughs> you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. I don't know what she was expecting, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Caroline. Hello, you must be Jess, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store. 
And have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. No, I have not, Caroline, but I have a feeling that we will very soon. And who's this? Evelyn. <laughs> She's so cute. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Oh, I most certainly will, Granny. Oh, gosh. Nobody's in the sewer, right? <laughs> sewer, hello. Knock, knock. It's locked. Okay, good. Don't play in the sewer, kids. Not a good idea. Anyone in this house? Can I go into houses? Like... Yeah, that's like a typical video game thing, I guess. Just, you know, walk into people's houses. Hey, don't mind me going through your stuff. Emily, oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay. <laughs> she is totally unbothered by the fact that we're snooping through her house right now. Just barge in. No worries. Does anyone live here? Let's see. Oh, this is a big house. Nobody's in here, though. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> we can really snoop here. Ooh, you're not good enough friends with Sam to enter his bedroom. Ooh. Gotta be friends with Sam to enter that room. <laughs> it seems like every game you can rummage around on people's stuff and take their items. Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Thank you, Maru. Who lives here? They have a nice garden out here. A little mushroom and everything. Let's see. Oh, nobody. <laughs> Nobody's home. Oh, it's 3.50 p.m. Oh, there's somebody down here. Okay. Um, Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, the beach. There's a beach here? Oh, it's right here. No way. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, and there's seashells. Oh, <laughs> don't slice them. Louis, Louis, you're at the beach. <laughs> so, how was your first night in the old cottage? Very nice, Louis. Thank you. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved the house. I bet he did. He didn't leave it in very good shape, but <laughs> I'm sure there was a lot of love poured into that. Fish. Gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, can I actually fish in this game? <laughs> it's starting to feel like Animal Crossing now. I wonder if that means I can catch the butterflies in, uh, that were flying around my, uh, my farm, too. What is this? Hmm, with 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. Ooh. Well, that's something we'll have to remember for later. I definitely don't have 300 pieces of wood on me right now. Kind of used it all on a chest, in fact. That's okay, though. We definitely need that chest. Once this gets filled up, you, uh, you can't pick up anything else, so... Definitely needed. Let's see, is this the library? Looks like a library. Hello, Gunther. Hello there, welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Ar Ar Office. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. <laughs> what? But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? My god, that's awful. Guy working here just stole everything, ran away. <laughs> what kind of person would do that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I guess uh, we'll be hunting for artifacts soon, too. That's pretty neat. What is this? Closed until summer. I don't know what that is. It's a little stall or something? And is this, uh... It's locked. Oh! Oh, it closes at 4. I wonder if all the shops close at 4. Oh, that's interesting. I have a daffodil. All these daffodils. Might as well pick them up. If I can, then there must be a reason for it. Video game logic. Oh, no way! Jojo Mart! Oh, no, I don't know if I want to go in here. <laughs> oh, no, it, it looks all... <laughs> it looks all evil. Morris, welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyful experience. No, no, I don't want to be a Joja member. Oh, I don't want to buy your Joja Cola either. <laughs> I don't want to be in here. Oh, no, let's get out. Run. Don't let them take you. 
Get out while you can. Oh, that's terrible. Is Jojo going to take over our little town? Oh, poor Pelican Town. <laughs> oh, that's Maru, right? I think we, we met her already. Um. Oh, and this is the calendar. This will tell us when everyone's birthday is and all the... Uh, the events, the egg festival on the 13th, the flower dance on the 24th. That's interesting. Lewis's birthday is at the end of the week. So we'll have to remember that. We have to give him a gift. We'll have to uh, remember to talk to him so we can figure out what he likes. Oh, wait a second. Their door is closed here. Who are you? <laughs> You're not going to let me in, are you? Oh! I can actually open the door. No way. <laughs> I thought they were going to lock me out because I'm not exactly friends with anyone right now. We met her. I think her name is Caroline, right? And who are you? Hey, it's Miss Jess, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Okay, thank you, Pierre. Oh, <laughs> this is the shop. <laughs> they live in the shop. Okay. Okay, but he's not working here right now, so... Oh, backpack upgrade. Well, I certainly don't have that kind of money at the moment. We'll have to remember to come back here in the daytime. It's already 8 p.m. Are you kidding me? Time flies so fast in this game. It is insane. So let's just uh, take a look in the Star Drop Saloon before we go back home, because this is probably our best bet as far as meeting new people. If we can't figure out where they... <laughs> Bam. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Hey kid, I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Oh, Pam. Oh, she's just gonna say the same thing. I don't know if I can afford a drink for you either, Pam. Sorry. Gus, he looks like Mario. <laughs> His little mustache. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hi there, Jess. I'm glad to see you. We're all You're always welcome here. Thank you, Gus. Or Mario, whatever your name is. We also have a couple people over here. I don't think we met this guy yet. Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Oh, he's so shy. Um, Shane. Oh, look, he has a little J on his jacket. Is that for Joja? <laughs> I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Oh, he's, he's a bit rude, too. Okay, Shane. It's an arcade here. Oh, Joja arcade. We don't want to go in there. Okay, so it's already 9 p.m. I guess we should probably head back home. So we don't want to stay out too late. End up passing out in the streets. Ugh. Ah, oh, look at our awful house. We need some light. We definitely need, like, a torch or something to light the place up a bit. Oh, but at least we have our cozy fireplace in here. That's nice. <laughs> So I guess that's probably it for today. We're going to send Jess to bed so she can get ready for her next big day at Cattail Farm. So in the next episode, we'll be uh, exploring the town a little bit more and uh, hopefully meeting the rest of our 28 people. We've we've seen 14 so far, so it's a little ways to go. Halfway there, right? <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.